Hello, I'm Mike. Welcome to the Farm Wolf. Today I thought I would do a little video and talk about the differences that I know of on the International 1086 compared to the International 1066. Now I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people comment, you know, there's going to be a lot of differences that I don't know of. I'm just going to share with you today the differences that I know. By the way, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. It'll sure make my day. And hope you enjoy the video. I hear a lot of people say that the 1086 is a lot rougher riding tractor than the 1066. And they claim that the reason for that is the 1086 is a lot shorter. I'm going to tell you what. I've spent personally several hundred hours in both these tractors. I've owned that 1066 over here that I'll show you in a second since 1995. I've owned this one since 2004. Put hundreds of hours on both of them. And I don't notice this one being any rougher than the 1066. So I guess it's just personal preference. Who knows? Maybe they're flying around and going high speeds. I don't know. The people that claim this was a rougher tractor. But again, I'll cover a few of the differences in the two that I know of. This tractor on the right, according to the serial number, is a 1971. This is a 1976. I pretty much got the axles. The rear axle, as close as I could get it. I'm a little bit farther back on the 1086, but they're almost axle to axle. The 1086 is a little bit farther back, but if you look, they're pretty much the same length. One difference that I can think of right off the bat is the axle size. The 1086 has a three and a half inch axle, I believe. The 1066 has a three and a quarter inch axle. Looking at the back of the 1066, the lift arms for the three-point hitch, they're round. And the hitch itself, it's got this hitch where you can take the pen out and you can actually pull this hitch out of this part of the draw bar. Now on the 76, 1976 model 1066, the black stripe, they did change these three-point lift arms to square lift arms. The axle housing itself on the 1066, this would be up under the cab or where the fenders attach. Except for the black stripe, the axle housing is just smooth. There's no cab mounts on it. Here's a view of the 1086. The axle housings have cab mounts. Now the later series, the black stripe 1976 1066, they would have had this type of axle housing with the cab mounts. The three-point hitch lift arms on the 1086, they're square as compared to the round ones on the 1066. The hitch is a solid draw bar. Goes all the way up to the belly of the tractor where the 1066, the draw bar slides into that square tube. The 1086, the center castings on the rear wheels. They've got, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, six holes. The 1066, I've got a set of weights on here, but they've got six holes, or excuse me, they've got 12 holes instead of six. The only difference I can tell, you know, the 1086, they eliminated a hole in between. The 1086, here's your dipstick to check the hydraulic hydraulic fluid here's where you fill it it's all on the back of the tractor 1086 has the dual pto setup my 1066 i've kind of got it under construction so you're just gonna have to bear with me but right there there is the dipstick and that's also where you fill the hydraulic oil at and that is inside the cab and it's not a lot of fun to fill 1066 also has the dual PTO setup. Both of these tractors, of mine anyway, have dual, dual remotes. This is the 66 series. 1086 has two remotes. On my 1086, you can see where this is cracked. This part on my grill on my 1086 is plastic. 
on my 1066. This one is metal. The 1066, which is what I'm in now, it has the gas tank up front here and the dash actually extends like from the hood work, the tin work, comes back. It's almost made like an 06 series. You got your gauges here beside the steering wheel. Here's your throttle right above the steering wheel. Uh, a lot of the differences that I can see between this and the 1086, like the throttle handle, the TA handle, and the gear shift levers, which by the way, on the 66, 06, 56 series, they're all on the side of the hood here by the steering wheel. But the 66 series over the 1086, these are a lot stouter. That's a solid hunk of metal. The 1086 has like stamped steel. And when I get in that tractor, I'll show you. They're pretty flimsy. These are pretty stout. On the 1086, here's obviously the seat. The gear shifter is on the left. And these uh, gear shifter levers, they're actually pretty stout. But they moved everything from the dash beside the steering wheel down to the left here. Here's the PTO lever. Down here is the parking brake on the 1066. The 1086 has it over by the shifters, which are on the side. Again, this tractor's kind of a mess, but these levers right here to the side of the seat, these are for your hydraulics. The three-point hitch to lift it is that knob right there. I've got a lot of stuff in the way here too, but this is for the three-point hitch lift. This is the draft. This is for the hydraulic remotes. You can see the uh, metal is not near as thick as the 1066. On this 1066, I've got the, the Henniker cab, which is pretty much a year-round cab. This is the PTO lever here to my left. I think on the non-cab models, the PTO lever is actually over here on this side and back a little bit, kind of like my 806 would be, if you're familiar with the 06 series. It would be similar, but on the cab, they had it on the other side. The 1086, the pedals go up under the dash. They don't go through the floor like the 1066. Kind of gives you a little more, I guess, a weatherproof cab. Here's the stamped steel design I was talking about. This is the throttle. I mean, you can hear that. This is the TA. I got tape on it, but not near as stout as the 66 series. This is the dash on the 1086. You can see, you know, it's a more modern looking dash. Plastic compared to the 66, which is metal. Here's looking directly off the dash to the hood. The 66 series, it's got a fuel cap right there. Gas tank is in the front. 1086, they moved all that. I'll get to the outside and I'll show both tractors and show you what they did. On the 1066, they had these vented hood panel or side panels and they had the vented hood. And of course, you know, it said international and turbo. The 1086, they got rid of the vents on the side panel. Still got the vents on the side of the hood. This one, I've seen some of the 86 that say turbo. This one does not. Big difference from the 1086 to the 66. The 1066, the fuel tank would have started right here and went back. On the 1086, they took the fuel tank away from here moved it to the back and below this is the fuel tank back here you fill it up here it's not really user friendly at least not to me i always have to climb up on the three point on the hitch climb up there and put fuel in it's not what i would call user friendly to do that this is another tank that tank in the back actually drains down into this tank this is Beside the wheel, down low, behind the battery, you know, kind of pretty much on the belly of the tractor. There's the fuel tank. 
the 1066 where this hood ends that's where the cab would begin on the 1086 the 66 here is the fuel tank it extended back to the gauges the dash so on the 1086 they just took this fuel tank away and the cab they moved it forward you can see where the cab starts at the end of the hood right here there's supposed to be like some insulation and some foam mine's missing it but they where the cab starts it's just got this plate it's got the plastic dash pretty much this cab is more airtight i would call this a little bit nicer cab than what my 66 series has here's another view of the pedals how they go up under the uh, dash there's no air gaps for these pedals the 1066 down here on the floor here's the brake pedals the clutch pedal mine is supposed to have boots that go around here but it obviously don't these weren't really an airtight cab here's where the bottom of the fuel tank and the side panel ends and then mine i've got the batteries out the batteries were right here most of them had like a rubber cover but you still had a lot of places like right in here you know where it didn't fit exactly tight air could get up in there so the 86 was just a lot tighter cab both these tractors have a turbocharged diesel 414 cubic inch engine they're both i think i just said it but they're both turbocharged they both have four speed transmissions they have high and low range they both have ta so you can have what is that without the ta you've got eight forward speeds 16 forward speeds with the ta and what is that four reverse speeds i think i might be wrong on that i'm just going off the top of my head basically these two tractors a 1086 is pretty much just a glorified 1066 in my opinion same tractor they just move stuff around the 1066 the seat pretty much sits right above the rear axle the 1086 they moved the seat forward in front of the rear axle their idea was that was going to give you a smoother ride instead of sitting right above the axle which you know if you've ever sat on a school bus and you're above the rear axle or behind it that's the roughest ride on the bus in between two sets of axles it's smoother ride that was their idea on the 1086 what I kind of like about it the 1086 is with the shorter hood it seems like it's easier for me to see around I like the tighter cab it's a lot quieter that's what I like about the cab especially when the air is working good what I like about the 66 series they make an international cab and then I've got the Henniker cab which is pretty much a year-round cab if you don't have working air the Henniker cab is nice that back window opens out these doors open out and they stay hinged out you can take the doors off these little windows in front open out you can take them off the front window opens out the back window opens out it's like having a canopy so when you don't have air this cab is really really nice compared to the international cab that they put on the 66 series i think the back glass opened out i think you could open up the front doors and keep them hinged out but i don't think the hood or not the hood i don't think the front glass opened out i don't think these little windows here opened out i think maybe the back glass did so i think this is a more comfortable cab these are just some of the differences that i know have noticed myself since i have a 1066 and a 1086 these are the differences that i know of I'm sure there's a ton more that I'm not even thinking of. If you know of any that I didn't cover, put them down in the comments. But that's what I know. I like both tractors. Both tractors have what I would, I guess they would have their advantages and disadvantages. They have the advantage, non-working air. You can open up all the windows on that one. But if you got working air, nicer cab. You know, with the 86 series. The steps on the two that I have would be a difference that I can think of. I love how these steps are angled out. They're kind of like going up a set of stairs. On my 1086, 
I don't know if the camera's showing the angle, but when you're trying to get up in the cab, they're more straight up and down. Another difference I can think of, 1066, the doors open, the hinge is on the back. I think it's a hundred times easier to get into this tractor than the 1086. The 1086, the door hinges to the front and opens this way. I don't think it's near as easy to get into as the 1066. If you're getting in on this side, which I normally do, the gear shifters are kind of in the way. I don't care for that on the 86 series. On the 66 series, I don't have a muffler on this anymore. I put a straight pipe on it. On the 66 series, the mufflers are above the hood. The 1086 or the 86 series, the muffler is back in here under the hood. And then it had a curved pipe, went up to the straight pipe. I think the idea was to get the big muffler out of your way. I didn't like the muffler being under the hood. I repainted this tractor and the muffler under the hood always burnt the paint off, burnt the decals off. I put a muffler delete on this, which it looks like it's leaking just a little bit. I got some soot there, but it has a true straight pipe on it. These are just some of the differences that I know of with the 86 series and the 66 series. Both tractors are good. I don't know if one is any better than the other. It's just personal preference, I think. But basically, you know, 1086 is basically a glorified 1066, like I said earlier. They just move the fuel tank around, move the cab forward, you know, kind of change some controls. In my opinion, like the throttle control and the TA lever, they cheapened them up, which I'm sure is like everything. They tried to save money, use thinner steel. But anyway, I thought I would just show you the differences in the two that I know of, because I hear so many people swear up and down the 1066 is a lot longer tractor. You can clearly see, it don't look like it. It looks like it's the same length. It's just the way that they move the cab and the fuel tank around. It makes the 86 look shorter, especially when you're driving it and you're looking down a shorter hood axle to front end they're the same length um if you have any questions if you have any comments feel free to leave them i just thought maybe this would be a cool little video so hope you like i'm mike the farm wolf please subscribe have a good day